Okay, so this demonstration is to show you how to use the Circle Savvy Ruler to cut out the pieces for this quilt roundabout. Here are the three main pieces you need for the large block. And you can see underneath the pieces, I have an 11 and a half inch square. These pieces can all be cut from one 11 and a half inch square, and you can use the templates in the pattern or you can use a Circle Savvy ruler, as I'm gonna show you here. Before we start cutting, I wanna show you this chart, and you can refer to it uh, when cutting the three different size blocks, and you can see the different size arcs um, are listed through here, and if it's a long arc, it will say long right in the chart. So for my large block, I'm going to start with two squares, 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and I'm going to place them right sides together so the result will be a right left image when I'm done cutting. My first arc will be a 12 inch diameter corner arc, so I'm going to align the outer lines on the ruler labeled quarter inch seam allowance with the corner of the two squares. And I'll go ahead and cut, pull my rotary cutter over to the 12 inch slot and press. And I like to cut a couple inches at a time, stop, walk my fingers, and then complete the arc. Okay, when I move the ruler, what you'll see is I have two arcs and I'll go ahead and set those aside. So check out the chart and you can see we just cut the 12 inch arc and now I'm going to move down to this step right here where it says to trim a half inch off of each of the short edges. The next step on the chart is to sliver trim the 11 inch diameter arc. So here we go, and I'm going to align those outer placement lines on the ruler with the outer edges of the square. And you can see the slot will begin right where the last cut ended. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim that out on the 11 inch diameter. and there'll just be a little bit of waste right here. Okay, now my next step will be the 14 inch long arc. Let me show you how that works. Take the ruler and place it on top of the squares and align the left edge as we've done so far, but this time I'm going to align the bottom edge of the ruler with the fabric, okay? And so now I'm gonna cut on the 14 inch slot right here, and I'm gonna go down as far as I can and start right there, and go ahead and cut. Okay, when I remove the ruler, you can see that I still need to complete the rest of that cut. So I'm gonna take a ruler and just align it with the straight line here for the edge of the fabric and pull that away, make sure it's straight right here and I'll go ahead and complete that cut. And so now I have the inner arc and as you can see, I have a right left image. So I'll go ahead and set those two pieces aside and now you can see uh, on the chart, we need to remove that half inch piece from each of the short edges. So here we go, just take a half inch off the bottom edge and the left edge. Okay, and so now we're gonna do the last cut which will be the 13 inch long arc. And again, I'm going to align the outer edge lines where uh, they're marked quarter inch seam allowance with the outer edge of the square and then pull 
the bottom lip of the ruler right down to here. And you can see the cut will begin right where I finished that last cut. And I'm going to go ahead and trim that out just like that. And there we go. Okay. So here's our three pieces. And you can see by placing the fabric right sides together that we have a right and a left hand image. And so you can cut as many different pieces as you want and switch them around. And the, the middle arc, because it's symmetrical, could really go in either place. So here's the setup for this small block, A, for roundabout. And I'm just going to follow through the chart like I have listed right here. Okay, so I have my squares placed right sides together. And I'm going to go ahead and place the ruler on top, aligning that outer edge, that outer placement line with the outer edge of the squares. And I'm going to go ahead and cut on the 7 inch diameter, which is right here, and press down and cut. My next step will be to remove a half inch from each of the short edges. And now I'm going to resize that inner arc on the six inch diameter slot. And I can just go ahead and leave my ruler right there, um, or my blocks right there, my squares, and slide the lip of the ruler to the bottom edge of the fabric keeping that left side aligned and I'm going to go ahead and cut the long arc on the 8 right here. Okay and now I need to complete that cut down to the bottom edge of the fabric. Make sure you're aligned nice and straight right here. And that completes the inner arc, the inner long arc part. Okay, now the next step would be to trim a half inch off of the short edges again. And it's to resize it so we can cut the next arc. Okay, on the seven and you can see it just slides right in there and that cut starts right where you left off before. And there we go. So now we have all these, all three pieces. And you can see that we have the right left image just like we did with the larger block. And again, you can cut as many pieces you want and swap them out and trade them around um, and get different colors in there. And because the, the inner arcs are symmetrical, you can swap those around however you want. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for you uh, using the Circle Savvy ruler to cut out the pieces for the quilt roundabout. And again, check out the chart. Uh, it will kind of help you. It's kind of a cheat sheet to just run down through the numbers and figure out what sizes you need. Okay, enjoy.